Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers, and this is Gemini energy. So this is a very intense energy. This is a strong connection that is felt by both people here. There's, there's a feeling here of being connected to someone on a deep, emotional, spiritual level. Um, but with this card, it's also being at a crossroads, having to make a decision about this connection. It's like this connection is in need of grounding. It's very strongly felt, but there's something about the practical side of it that needs to be, decisions need to be made around this. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have a Four of Wands, Fire Energy, the Star Aquarius Energy, and the Six of Cups, Water Energy. So this could be someone who there's distance or you guys are not necessarily together right now. With the Star card, there's this yearning energy, a longing energy, wishing, hoping, um, wanting more from this connection. With the Six of Cups, someone is reminiscing about the times they were with you. Um, you know, they, they often dream about you or think about you and they remember you fondly. They still have very deep emotions here. And there's this this energy of wanting to make a choice or a choice needing to be made about moving this connection to the next level, you know, in a practical way. Like um, it could be actually becoming official, putting a title together or um, committing to something, moving in together with the four of wands. There's something about defining the connection. This is something that is yet to happen. And someone is hoping for this. It's like that's what they want. Um, but right now they're just, it's like they're manif trying to manifest this connection or they're, there's this feeling of really being in their mind about the connection, like a hopeful wishing energy, daydreaming energy. Um, but a decision is still yet to be made. So let's clarify these cards, um, Virgo. So we have the two of wands, and this is fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. So yeah, this person is currently in the contemplation phase. They really want to pursue something more for this connection, but they're still thinking about how to do it, how to come forward. There's a lot of hoping and wishing here. And again, planning, thinking about the next steps, the future of the connection. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the moon in the reverse, Pisces energy. The Ten of Wands in the reverse, fire energy. And the Four of Cups, water energy. So there's a fear of rejection with the Four of Cups being here. There's a fear of um, they offer not being enough or themselves not being enough here. So this is holding this person back. You know, this is someone who's... They're burdened by their, their hopes for this connection. Like this person, there's a desire to just take action. Because it's becoming too hard to ignore the urge to take action or to do something in the physical the moon is here it, it, this person has a lot of fears and insecurities um but with it being the reverse they, there's this desire to kind of take a leap of faith to overcome these fears um putting themselves in a position where they can actually get hurt or rejected um with the moon in the reverse they want to they want to give their truth they want to open up they want to give that clarity they want to put an end to illusions you know this is someone who wants something to materialize between you guys okay so i'm going to put out an oracle card for you virgo
Okay, we have you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. So someone, you know, it's like they, they have some fears here. They may feel like they're not enough for you or they're not good enough or what they're offering you may be turned down. So this person, I'm seeing them trying to work through these feelings of inadequacy before they come towards you. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Virgo. separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon so this could be someone you're currently separated from but they still feel connected to you it could be that they're dreaming about you they still the, the, that bond that emotional connection is very present okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you We have determination and creative achievements. You can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. Okay, so this is someone who does want to create with you. They want a partnership. They want more from this connection. And um, they may do something quite out of their comfort zone. They want to they want to try with this. They want to pursue this regardless. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out a card for your advice for a girl. we have surrendered to complete healing open fully to the loving compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical emotional and spiritual healing okay so that's what i'm seeing for you virgo i hope you have a really really good day virgo bye virgo